This is the look on my face when I finally find a villager crafting, only to realize I already have the recipe. Hey YouTube, it's Alexa Giovanni here and welcome to my channel. We're going to cover off DIYs today and how to collect the ones you don't already have. One way is obviously looking at your villagers as to who's crafting and the one way in case you don't already know is to look at their chimney to see if there's any smoke coming out. And this is an addition obviously of the windows with the curtains being drawn. Let's have a look at this one here and see if they're crafting. Looks like we're in luck. We've picked the right house. Marina's crafting. So I love the fact that she calls me Cupcake. Now this is where you realize that you already have the recipe. And it's that combined emotion of frustration and disappointment. What do we do next? What you're looking at here is a result of me constantly getting the same recipe from my current villagers. And I've resorted to create a fake account on my Switch only to create a house to hold all of these recipes. And that was just before Nintendo released that ability to expand your space. So I ended up using this house as well to store my extra stuff. Of course, storing the DIYs like this comes with its own flaw. Fellow human island residents can't access it when it's inside someone else's house. Whereas you can if it's in a recycle box. So check the linked video of how to get DIYs into your recycle box. And this is why it happens so often to me and probably the same reason it happens to you as well. If we look at my index and all the recipes that I've got, of all the recipes at this point in time, there's actually 638 possible recipes. This includes annual and seasonal DIYs as well. But of all those, I, at this point in time, I actually have 118 left to collect. And I track them with an app, which I'll leave it in the description for you. But that gave me the ability to know which ones I'm after. So if I went to visit an island that was hosting, I would know which one I wanted. The one thing I did notice though, was the large gap that I had in my DIY were actually from big sister types. And this is because the majority of the time that we played the game, we invited lazies, smugs, peppies, normals. And each of these personalities give you a set pool of DIYs that they can possibly give you. And this is no different to the big sister type. They too have a set dedicated list of DIYs that they can possibly give you. But because they were never on my island, I was never exposed to them. On screen, you can see the list of DIYs that a big sister would give you and the ones that I'm missing, which in this case are six. Which kind of got me thinking and then I realized, hey, I've got a whole bunch of amiibo cards that I've been pack opening for, so why don't I just invite the big sisters that I've got? The benefit of doing that is the fact that when they come to your island, they actually ask you to craft three different items. And if you don't have that DIY, they give you the recipe. And if you don't have amiibo cards, feel free to overload your island with a personality type that you don't already have. Here are the big sister types that I've got in my amiibo set. If you're into amiibos, check the linked video and in the description for my pack openings. And of these three, I'm going to pick Renee. One is because she's cute and two is that she's the first in the list. So let's go ahead and invite her. So at this point you're being prompted and I'm tapping Renee's amiibo onto the control stick on the right side of the switch. And this is a really cool part of the game. It's so well integrated. And this is where she gets invited. She's never been here before. And I love her catchphrase, yo, yo, yo. And there you have it. She's immediately invited to your campsite. You don't have to wait for Isabel to announce it. And better still, you don't even have to wait for them to be hopefully crafting in their house. Having said that, let's visit Renee. And isn't she cute? Look at her with her lollipop. She kind of looks angry, but she's cute at the same time. Now you do have to engage in conversation a couple of times up until the point that she asks something of you. So in this case, she's asked for a particular piece of furniture, which I'll quickly run out to see that we can craft it. And in case you missed it, she was asking for a wooden block table. So let's have a look to see if we've got that recipe. And I'm pretty sure I've got it. So wooden block, wooden block table. I don't have that recipe. And I think I realize at this point, I don't actually have it yet. And it's at this point I realize, hang on a second, did she just give me? She did. 
She gave me the wooden block table, which was one of the six that I didn't already have. How cool is that? I completely skipped over the fact that she was just talking to me, but she actually gave me that recipe I needed. So that's one down, five to go. Now, whilst I've learnt this recipe, there's no obligation for you to craft it for your visitor. On the contrary, if you have a bunch of recipes for a particular personality type that you don't have, I would just skimp on that and just keep collecting the recipes and keep inviting them back and back. Of course, if you really want that villager, do complete those three so that you can invite them to your island. Pro tip though, if you don't already know this, hit A twice to speed up your crafting. So let's deliver this little souvenir to lovely Renee. I did say earlier in the video as well that big sister types have a set pool of particular recipes and this is a little bit of a just a sneak peek and a summary of all the types so in this case big sister has iron garden some shell wooden wooden block and favors the apple fruit check towards the end of the video for the other personality type summary as well this is now the next day, so second day that we'd want to have Renee over, so we need to invite her again. So let's get her along. And like before, she'll be immediately available. So let's see what sort of DIY she gives us on the second day. Yo, 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 Renee, what's up? What do you want today? What's it going to be? A wooden block bench. I think I've already got that one. But I will just double check because I did think I had that one yesterday as well. So let me just check my pockets. No, that's already the one we already had. So it looks like we didn't get anything new. But on a side note, did you know that when you give the souvenir to the person on your campsite, when you return back into their into the actual tent, they set it up. Check it out. I didn't actually realize this happens, but it seems to be only for interior or small souvenirs. So I guess what's left now is to invite Renee back for a third day and let's hope that she gives us something we don't have. We've got five left to collect. Let's nag poor old Renee back to our island for a third visit. Come on, Renee, give us, give us a recipe. Iron garden table. I think I've got that one as well. No DIY given to me. I already have that one, but it was worth a try. At this point, after you've delivered the third souvenir, she does ask to move in, in which case I said no in this case. I might think about that again later, but let's invite Phoebe now to see what sort of set of DIY she gives. I mean, I know which one she's likely to give because it's the same collection, but I'm hoping she gives me one that I don't already have. The cool thing about Phoebe is if you do get her to move in, apparently her house actually is made of lava. But let's go and look at and visit her in the tent. There she is, drinking some Fanta or something. So wooden waste bin, I'm pretty sure I've got that one. But what I'm going to do with Phoebe is, unlike Renee, is I'm not going to craft her stuff. I'm just going to invite her day after day just to see if she asks for the exact same souvenir, even though I didn't deliver on the first day. Now, don't get confused. I've now switched over to Giovanni. So before we were looking at it from Alexi's point of view, looking at it on Oak Tree, we're now looking at Giovanni and I'm inviting Renee again, but on a different island, just to see, do we get the same recipes back to back, despite being from a different island? Let's find out. Now, Roll is kind of in the way. Excuse me, Roll. Raymond's out and about. Let's have a look. Now for reference, Renee did ask for a wooden block table when she was at Oak Tree. On Chelsea, she's going to ask for a wooden block bench. Okay, so it's still part of the wooden block series, but it's not the exact same type. So it does look like it doesn't necessarily give you the exact same ones when you invite her, which is kind of good, which means if you mix and match the different types of amiibo, you could potentially increase your chances at getting the one that you want. The good news is that the wooden block bench actually Giovanni doesn't have, so in this case, I've come off with a win. But 
that makes me wonder. I wonder if the first time you invite someone, they give you the one that you want or need. Well, let's put that theory to the test. I'm inviting Sylvia here, who's the first time ever arriving on this particular island at Oak Tree. So let's see what she gives me. So I'm hoping that the first time you invite one particular villager of a particular type, they'll give you a recipe that you don't already have. So I'm going to hop into her campsite and see what she's got to give. An iron work table. Unfortunately, that bursts that bubble. So what I'll do here is a quick summary on all the different DIYs that were given by each of the characters across both Alexi and Giovanni. So there's a little asterisk that indicates that was a new item or a new DIY that was given. So it all depends on the character. There wasn't any science or logic to this. It just seemed to be lucky. Giovanni is a younger character compared to Alexi, who's been established for a whole year. So the chances of Giovanni having less DIYs than Alexi is pretty likely. And it looks like Phoebe, in this case, gave out shell partition three times. So I don't know if that's a common DIY for her. And on to the kangaroo Sylvia. So with Alexi, we got these three items. And Giovanni received these three. And again, for Sylvia, I did not craft her requested DIYs or souvenirs. But she did give Giovanni a birdcage that he didn't have. Now, just to look at this from a different perspective, let's have a look at what Alexi received day after day versus what Giovanni received day after day. And you'll see that the characters all had one of the big sisters visit three times each. And as this video comes to a close, I'm going to leave you with each of the personality types with an overall summary of the types of DIYs that they issue. So you'll see that there is overlap between different series of DIY, but this isn't an extensive list. If you want to look at the extensive list, please look at the apps or websites that give you that. But this is really just for you to have a look at a sort of a high level view of the types of DIYs that these characters give. And since editing this video, I've managed to get my needed DIY count from 118 down to 93, which includes Frozen Series DIY, which you get for making perfect snowboys, which I've made quite a few for an upcoming video on that topic. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. If you've got something out of this video, do take this opportunity to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're an Animal Crossing fan, do subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you know when I release new videos. And comment below, I'd love to know which is your favorite personality type. Have you got a particular one that is just flooding your island at the moment? So this is Alexi Giovanni signing off, and until next time, see ya!